Froggy, and welcome to another Versus! Where we test our crafting skills against popular store-bought items. Today, the challenge is the Barbie Picnic Playset. We found this at Walmart for $8.88. $8.88? That's a great price! That's not giving us a lot to work with. This playset is recommended for ages three and up. On the back of the box, you can see the dolls on the playset and some simple instructions in the corner. Let's get this out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, some assembly is required. We have a pink wooden tabletop. You can see a wood grain. There are silver colored legs that go underneath. This goes right here. That one, I believe, is right there. They don't snap in, so that should make it easier to break it down for storage. This piece goes in the center, giving the legs a little more stability. Then we just turn it over, add the seats, and the table is put together. You have the option of moving the seats to reposition the table. We can have it like that, or they can sit in a circle. Since nothing locks into place, that does affect the stability a little. I would suggest lifting it from underneath rather than the top. This set also comes with hot dogs that are molded onto the plate and are designed to lock into place and stay put. We have four of those and four blue cups, mustard, ketchup, a brown plastic basket, and a small blanket, which is a purple square of polka dot fabric. Looks like the dolls are ready to have some fun outdoors. Now let's see if we can make a picnic table of our own for $8.88 or less. Now let's craft it. These are super jumbo craft sticks I found at Walmart. I have a few left over from a previous craft. Brand new, they cost about $4 a pack, so we're gonna take that out of our budget. They are a lot larger than regular jumbo craft sticks, so they should give us a nice size table. I only have 14, so let's hope that's enough. I start by taking eight and cutting off the ends. Sand to remove the raw edges, take standard popsicle sticks from the dollar store, cut them to fit across two of the craft sticks, repeat, then cut two more to fit across four craft sticks. Glue them into place, leaving a little bit of room on the edge. I'm using a hot glue gun, so always have adult supervision when crafting. Now we have two seats and a tabletop. Place them side by side, take two more craft sticks, cut the ends at an angle to go on the sides. Take four more, cut both ends at the same angle to be the legs for our table. Turn the tabletop over, glue on the legs. I cut two more popsicle sticks and I'm gonna glue them right onto the edge for a little more support. Glue on the support for the seats, glue on the seats, making sure to glue it on the outside of the popsicle sticks to make a picnic table. Ours is pretty sturdy, but it doesn't fold down for easy storage. Now let's see, what else do we need? Cut a square of fabric. This cost me 50 cents for a quarter of a yard at Walmart. Pull the threads from around the sides to make a fringe. And now we have a cloth for our table. Just crease it on the sides of the table so it hangs over. Barbie has a home-cooked meal, but let's be real, our dolls are gonna order takeout. We have our paper burritos from a previous video, along with the paper bag, our printable paper plates, and our printable sodas. Take a red glitter glue stick from the dollar store. I have a few left over from the holidays. Use a pencil sharpener to partially sharpen one end. Take a scrap of black craft foam and punch out a hole to make a black bottle top. Apply a touch of glue to glue on the top. Cut a picture out of a store ad, glue it onto the glue stick, carefully trim off the excess, use nail polish to make it shiny. Now the dolls have hot sauce for their burritos. Completing our DIY picnic playset. 
After paying for the popsicle sticks and the fabric, our total was $5.50. And that's only because I didn't charge for the items we already had. This project took less than an hour to make, and this one was instant because we bought it at the store. I am a little partial to the natural colors, but it is really cool how you can change the design for the store-bought table. Although, I would have liked for the top to have been a little sturdier. However, it is easier to store. Do you prefer store-bought or handmade? Let us know in the comments down below! Thank you for joining us for this Versus! Like, comment, share, and subscribe! Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye